Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for, I don't know, the next 24 hours or whenever it resonates, you know, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? Judgment. Judgment. Judgment is about truth, finality, life-changing decision, getting a chance, asking for another chance. Somebody may be asking for another chance, maybe asking for forgiveness, but this is a card of absolution. It is a card of release. It's the end. It's the end of something. You think about judgment days where somebody you know, makes a decision, it's a life-changing decision, which causes a completion, okay? Something about forgiveness here. I feel like forgiveness very strongly at this time. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. This is the end of a trial. Okay. So this is this is the end of a trial. It is. It's time. It's time for the verdict. It's time for the decision. Will you be forgiven? Will you be accepted? Will there be acceptance? It's a wake-up call. Somebody's going to get a wake-up call of some sort. That's an awakening or an epiphany or, or something like that. Judgment. Judgment is being made. Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration of some sort, typically. Socializing. Celebrating. Having fun. Now this is happiness. There also could be a reunion here of some sort or a reconciliation. And if you think about reconciliation, it doesn't always have to be between lovers. It could be between friends. It could be a reconciliation of accounts, you know. But this is happiness. This is celebrating a decision. Okay? So celebrating a decision. Mm, the end of a battle. Some There's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of fight. This is surrendering. It's de feeling defeated. It's admitting defeat, perhaps. It could also be, you know, cooperation. Could mean more, though. It could be some sort of... Well, let me get one more card before I go down that path. Let me get one more card. Let me see what else I can do. Eight of Cups, saying goodbye. Walking away, definitely. Somebody is walking away from a disappointing situation. They're giving up. It's like, nope, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. You know? I'm not I'm not gonna fight with you. I'm not I'm not going to play these games. It feels like there's been some somebody here that has been unwilling to negotiate. This is unwilling to negotiate, so somebody's leaving. They've made a decision. This is a decision to leave something behind because of somebody's unwillingness to Give. You know, this person is unwilling to negotiate, so I'm leaving. You know, that kind of situation. I'm going to go someplace else where I will be happy, you know. So somebody has made that decision or they're making that decision. This is probably the end of a battle. Somebody's been struggling. There's been a power struggle here. Struggling with an individual that wanted to win at all costs. <laughs> Let's 
saying goodbye to an individual that is unwilling to negotiate. Ooh, Knight of Wands reversed. An Ace of Cups reversed. Oh boy. So there's an emotionally dis dissatisfying situation here. There's emotional shutdown. Uh, there's a lack of desire, a lack of passion. Um, somebody has been in a sad situation where something did not come to fruition. Something did not. They may have been dealing with an individual that was jealous. Okay, they were jealous. They were um, naive, not thinking clearly. Uh, may have had a chip on their shoulder, boastful. So we may, yeah, it will, we definitely have a boastful individual here who a show off. There is a show off here. This show off, I feel like, is about to get an awakening. <laughs> Of some sort because that judgment card is an awakening um, knight of, of wands reversed this is a this is a very forceful individual there's going to be a sudden departure there is going to be a sudden departure because something hasn't come to fruition it hasn't this is there's there's this is shutting down, shutting down emotionally. It's it's emotionally discontent. Somebody is leaving behind an emotionally discontent situation where there's no love. There's, it's been uh, I don't know. Maybe they're dealing with a heartless individual. I don't know. Um, definitely could be. It definitely could be a, a very cold, cold individual who has a chip on their shoulder. It's going to be somebody's definitely going someplace. They're leaving behind this sad situation. There's been some sort of power struggle. Hmm. But this is realizing the truth. This is realizing the truth. Somebody is realizing the truth, okay, about whoever it is that they're dealing with. And they're realizing that it's time to walk away with that Five of Swords reversed and that Eight of Cups. That's what they're realizing. It's time to walk away. It's time to walk away from this uh, emotionally dissatisfying situation, okay? Um, because it's about being happy. Okay, it's about owning up to the truth as well. If it's not working out, it's not working out, right? Ooh, three of swords. Now, three of swords is heartache, suffering, pain, uh, sudden departure. This is a sudden departure. This, they, these, these three cards. I wonder if somebody has some heart problems. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but there's, there's pain in the heart. This is, this, there is. Both of these cards. There's heart pain. So whether it's physical pain or emotional pain, there's heartache here. There's heart pain. So there's sadness. There's grieving. Grieving over a loss. So, and, and it could be just a, it could be an emotional loss. Somebody is grieving over an emotional loss. They may have moved too quickly into something, okay? With somebody that is very disagreeable, somebody that you know really wasn't willing to negotiate or wasn't willing to give. But the three of swords is a painful. Well, this is a departure, so, and it's sudden. It is sudden, all of a sudden. Hmm. You know, this may have to do with relocation. Somebody has been investing in something. And I feel like they've they've decided that it's it's definitely time to go someplace else. Whether this is job related or friend related or relationship related or whatever this has to do with, it's it's time to go someplace else. There's no growth here. 
it's it's over it's over this this trial is over it it is I mean, the Seven of Pentacles is about an investment. It is. It's somebody has been thinking about an investment, and I feel like they're they're sad. They're unhappy. I mean, you think about the Three of Swords, and underneath that investment, it's like they've invested in this. You know, they've worked really hard, and it, and nothing is coming to fruition. You know, it's not it's not turning out. That is it worth it to keep investing in this? It's if it's if it's not it should have it should be more profitable you know somebody's not getting the profit that they hoped that they were going to get so i feel like there's a you know wondering should i should i stay or should i go and i think that's what's been happening and maybe they've been socializing and communicating with somebody else and maybe they're being given a chance with somebody else or they're getting some sort of epiphany or some sort of a wake-up call you know they're accepting the truth they're seeing the truth that there's no reason to stay in this predicament because whoever they're dealing with is very non-negotiable. This person is non-negotiable. They're very uh, disagreeable. They're impulsive, forceful, uh, boastful, a show-off. Uh, uh, yeah, so I think there's going to be a, a sudden departure of some sort. Somebody's been probably thinking about it anyway, maybe for the last few days, maybe the last three days, maybe longer. Um, they've been thinking about it anyway, thinking of whether they should invest, should they should they continue to go down this path. Um, and I think they've come to a conclusion. I think they've come to a conclusion. Um, that judgment card is a is a wake up call. It's an awakening of some sort. It's it's expressing the truth, hoping for, you know, forgiveness, being forgiven. Somebody may be forgiven. It could go either. It could go many different ways. Now that three of swords, that's painful. That's a painful separation or a loss of something. Somebody has really been grieving. Grieving over something they have invested in. Seriously. And it's like now it's it's time to go. It's time to go. I don't I don't want to battle. I don't want to go back and forth anymore. You know, if the, if it's not going to bring me happiness, if it's not going to come to fruition then I might as well leave you know eight of cups is goodbye it is it's like leaving this behind headed towards you know wish fulfillment leaving behind this power struggle I'm not gonna beg you you know so it's, a, it's almost like somebody wants to be begged as well you know I'm not I'm not gonna beg you um but I don't know if somebody may be begging. Somebody could. It's interesting that that came out. Um, because that could be begging for somebody could be. Which I, I find that hard to believe. But um, it definitely could be. Now the Knight of Wands reversed to me is like a one hit wonder kind of in, individual. Somebody that doesn't really follow through. It's like they, they, they say something. They say they're going to do something. And then at the last minute they quit. So somebody may have may have quit. You know, you know, anyhow. I wonder if there's a third party situation here with that three of cups. There could be, there could, we definitely have an impulsive individual here who has done something reckless. They have done something without thinking. And the, and the other person that they are dealing with is taking it into account. Definitely, they hurt another person. Somebody did something without thinking and they hurt another person. And now it's like, I don't know if it involved a third party or what, but are they ready to be judged? Because judgment is, are you ready to be judged? Because judgment is coming and judgment is a card of karma. And it is like a big card of karma.
Ooh, there's going to be a change. There is going to be a change. Look at that. This is somebody that is trying to find balance. You know, they're, they're been experiencing some ups and downs and they're needing to be, somebody needs to be flexible. They need to be flexible. They need to be able to adapt to change because some sort of change is definitely coming. This is, this is, uh, I don't know. It's, there could be some sort of financial decision here that is being made as well with the two of pentacles. Could have to do with a partnership. Um, this could have to do with a financial partnership of some sort. There's going to be a change. We have somebody here that has been maybe playing games, maybe juggling, going back and forth, unable to make a solid decision or unable to be truthful and honest, but some sort of truth is definitely coming out. Um, there's a need to be flexible here, and I feel like we have somebody that has un been unwilling. They've been unwilling to be... Um, it's like negotiable. Somebody may be, um, emotionally cold by the one, by just saying, we definitely have somebody here that is cold. They're, they're cold. Um, and I feel like they are about to, I don't know, I feel like we have a setback here. You know, when I see the Two of Pentacles, there's going to be some sort of alignment. Maybe it's a realignment. And there's a need for faith. There's a need for faith. There's a need for trust. Somebody has been in some sort of painful situation with an individual who never intended on following through. This person that never intended in... in okay. This person that never intended on following through is, a, is going to experience karma because what goes around comes around with the infinity sign. So whoever this person is is going to experience karma. Just, just, we just wait. Okay, it's going to happen. All right, it is going to happen. They're going to um, not be happy. Okay, they're not going to be happy with what they hear. Okay, they're going to hear some sort of truth. They're going to hear something that doesn't make them happy. And it doesn't make them happy or they're going to realize something. It could be an epiphany. Either they hear something or they realize something. Okay. They were unwilling to negotiate. They were unwilling to negotiate. Five of swords reversed. They were unwilling to budge. This person wanted to win at all costs. They were being very forceful. Now somebody is walking away and they're going to be sad. They are going to be sad. They're not going to be happy. This is, I mean, the two of pentacles, a profit and a loss. Okay. Somebody may have, have been playing games, trying to force something because the knight of wands is force. Anyhow. There's, there's definitely sadness here with the Three of Swords. A sad, you know, awakening. <laughs> okay, but this is, this is a wake, this is a wake up call. Somebody's about to get a wake up call. They're about to, uh, the truth is about to be revealed. Some sort of truth. They're gonna, whatever they hear, it's gonna be the truth. Maybe the, maybe the, maybe the hard truth. It may, it may definitely be a hard truth. There could be some tears that are shed even with the Ace of Cups reverse. There could be tears. Um, somebody is choosing to not see something, to not see an opportunity with that, with the Two of Pentacles as a choice. And it's like they're missing something. Playing games, juggling, going back and forth, trying to see what they can prove almost, trying to see what they can do interesting but there's going to be some sort of alignment there's going to be a realignment then when i you know i think of the two of pentacles it's like an earthly power right larger than ourselves that is in control here somebody's been clinging to control and they're about to lose the control they have over another person because that other person is is leaving okay they're walking away as sad as it is
this has to do with an investment of some sort. Somebody invested in something. And it feels like whoever they were dealing with was, was wondering if it was going to be worth it. This person was, you know, I don't know, maybe they were being selfish. Because it, like there, it looks like there's enough here, but somebody wants more. Right? It does look like there's enough here. But we have somebody here that wants more. So whoever this person is that wants more is going to be experience something. I mean, the Three of Swords is pain. It's hurt. But I feel like there's another option. There is an option for forgiveness. There is an option for even reconciliation. There is because of that judgment card and the three of cups right next to it. That's like a there is a there's a chance for I don't know reconciliation or to you know be forgiven or something like that. But it will take making a change because of that two of pentacles because they're mirroring it. It will, it will take. Um, being flexible. And we have somebody here that has been unwilling to be flexible. So there, there could be a sudden departure here. Um, there could even be an argument with the Five of Swords reverse, a big one. Okay. That could be, that could be a serious argument, like a really, really, really big argument. Okay. You know. You know, somebody could even do something stupid, you know, and be, you know, there could be an arrest even with the Two of Swords reversed next to the Knight of Wands reversed and the Eight of Cups. Somebody could be taken away. I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. This could be at court. Okay, if you think about, think about the court, you think about judgment. Somebody could end up in court and, you know, they could, they could lose, okay, with the Five of Swords reversed. They could lose because there's, they've committed some sort of crime. The Five of Swords in reverse could be a crime. They could be going away with that Eight of Cups. So that's somebody else's story. Anyhow. So, yeah. Um, there is going to be a judgment that is made. Somebody is making a judgment call based on the truth. This is the end of a situation. Okay, it is. It's the end. It's the end. Either you will be forgiven or not. Right? There could be peace talks as well with the Five of Swords reversed. There could be. This could be the end of a battle. It could be. It could be the end of a battle where somebody um, decides to be flexible or they decide to um, start investing in something, you know? I do believe there's going to be communication. There's going to be, there's going to be some sort of, with that Three of Cups, there's going to be some sort of communication. There's going to be talks. Okay, um, but I do also see a sudden departure. Okay, that Knight of Wands reverse and that Eight of Cups and that Five of Swords definitely gonna be somebody that, and they it doesn't it may just leave you know for a little while I don't know. But right in the middle of the reading is that Knight of Wands reverse. That is somebody that. Uh, I don't know, it could be a troublemaker, somebody that is loud, violent, overly competitive, uh, out of control. You know, it could be somebody that's out of control or naive. It could be just somebody that is naive, that doesn't make the right decisions. Anyhow, I do believe... <sighs> that somebody is going to be investing in something else. And I feel like they're going to be investing in something else because maybe they're forced to. Maybe they're being forced to by another person or the law. Could be the law, you know. 
See, it feels like there's some sort of force here. It's like they're being forced to leave. And that's what I see. Good luck. <laughs>